Department of Veterans Affairs is helping veterans get the help they need, whether it's with benefit claims or physical and mental health screenings. A vet fest will be hosted at FSCJ's Kent campus. That's on Roosevelt, Roosevelt Boulevard tomorrow afternoon. News for Jack's reporter Aaron Farrar shows us the resources veterans will have access to. Timothy Sperry is a retired Army Command Sergeant Major. He served this country proudly for 34 years. Some of that time in deployment was in combat in Afghanistan, Iraq, and Kuwait. Sperry's wife, Catherine, says her husband is about to do something that has been a long time coming. He's actually coming down to have his toxic exposure screening and enroll in this particular VA. Sperry will be among many veterans who can show up to FSCJ's Kent campus to get their questions answered and the help they've been looking for. Catherine Sperry is the suicide prevention supervisor for the North Florida and South Georgia VA health system. We want all veterans to understand and know that we're here to help. We want them to have all of the benefits that are available to them. Some of the services that will be available include health care enrollment, toxic exposure screenings, VA benefit claims assistance, mental and whole health resources, and PACT Act education. So if you're a veteran thinking about showing up to this event, if you're already enrolled in the VA, all you really need to bring with you is a photo ID. But if you're not already enrolled, there are three specific things you should bring with you. A photo ID, a copy of your military records if they're available, and a copy of your DD-214. It means a lot to be able to serve those who have served us. That was Josh Pridgen the Associate Director for Primary Care and Outpatient Services. Pridgen says the PACT Act stands for Promise to Address Comprehensive Toxins Act. It was signed into law last year, and it expands VA health care and benefits for veterans exposed to burn pits, Agent Orange, and other toxic substances. The law also contains a special enrollment period for veterans who served after the Gulf War and were discharged between 2001 and 2013 uh, who saw combat uh, or served in a combat zone. And those same veterans would have a chance to enroll directly in VA health care without having to first apply for a disability claim. For Sperry and Pridgen, they say this effort is a worthy cause. I've always said I have the best job at the VA because if I've saved one life, my whole career was worth it. Taking care of those who fought to protect us. Reporting, I'm Aaron Farrar, Channel 4, The Local Station.